okay uh, welcome to the part 3 of our tutorial and previous video and part 2 uh, we went through on process of creating uh, the cake object so uh, let's begin uh, creating the icing at the top of this object okay now for this video let's open a 3d modeling cupcake part 3 dot max and make sure that you are in a create tab and under create tab shapes group let's choose helix and try dragging over here okay so so fa just follow me okay uh click and drag and don't release your mouse left mouse button don't just read it yet don't release just yet okay release your left mouse button hover your mouse up click once hover your mouse down and click once okay and exit into our edit uh helix mode by right clicking in uh in this empty space and go uh to uh modifier tab and with this object still selected we are now seeing its properties over here and before editing these parameters i'm going to put this at the top of our uh key okay now uh let's change it co its its color to yellow so that we can see the object uh, much clearly and go at the top view press letter t okay now let's try to change the radius and radius one and radius two drag the radius one adjustment arrows drag the radius to adjustment arrows okay okay so i think that should be enough and go to perspective view press letter p and uh let's expand the value for the height okay right so uh, you may want to post this part of this video uh, to copy these uh, my uh, my settings in here and after you are finished copying these settings uh, let's go back to uh, create tab any create tab uh, what you call this uh, this group okay uh, let's create cylinder click that cylinder okay click and drag over here and release your mouse button hover your mouse up and click once okay and go to modifier tab and if you want to hide the wireframe just press f4 on your keyboard okay and if that doesn't happen just go to realistic display selected and uncheck that display selected button so that every time you press the f4 it would uh, turn on and off the wireframe okay so for now let's turn on the wireframe and in here let's try to give it a radius of six or uh, maybe seven height 50 uh, height segments 20 and sides around 12 okay now with the cylinder selected i'm going to apply a path modifier and let's look and um, let's look for it under modifier list uh, path modifier so uh so don't mistake and so don't be mistaken with this patch deform uh just click this path uh patch deform so it should be path deform okay and click the path uh pick path and uh choose the uh what you call this a uh, helix object and that's how you uh turn this uh cylinder into a swirling uh icing object okay now uh, let's hide this select that one and i expand this uh what you call this uh, layer and as you can see here that uh, i already have here a finish uh, edit of this uh, icing object and I'm gonna show that to you later so for now let's hide this helix okay and select this one and of course uh, let's uh, rotate that press letter E shortcut key for rotate tool and rotate that at this direction press W for move tool move it up here okay and now uh, let's uh, further edit these uh, settings here in uh, stretch try to drag this adjustment arrow okay until it reaches up to the point uh, up to the other end point okay 
right and of course we have to rotate that okay so uh, the next thing we need to do is to uh, turn this into a pointed shape and the, the process will be just the same in here so that so I'm not going to repeat the process uh, once I uh, once I already demonstrated the process over here okay so let's apply above here and edit poly modifier and of course you have to look that modifier under modifier list so I'm just gonna click this one okay okay so uh, the workflow the workflow uh, would be uh, shifting between these uh, between these different modes so just press uh, number one number two number three number four number five on your keyboard shortcut keys for these uh, buttons okay press number four to enter into a polygon mode so that i can select this polygon press letter r to scale it down press w for move tool and move it down move it over here move it up press number two to enter in edge mode so that we can select this edge double click this edge press letter R uh, shortcut key for scale tool scale it down press W for move tool move it here okay press number two uh, for uh, edge tool double click the edge letter R press that letter R scale tool and move down okay so that's the workflow of uh, editing this uh, object all right and now let's expand this modeling uh, tab double click that one and if you cannot see these uh, tabs just go over here and right click and check the ribbon it with and it will uh, show up these tabs okay so let's focus on tab uh, modeling tabs and I'm going to use the swift lock to click that and let's add additional segments between these uh, between these uh, faces okay All right, and if you are finished uh, uh, using the Swift Lock, right click in here to exit Swift Lock mode. Okay, and of course, uh, we have to adjust this. Double click, press letter E for rotate tool, rotate, double click. Okay. Alright, and let's assume that I uh, I am already satisfied with this shape. Now uh, let's finish this one. Okay, so select that uh, faces at the center, and with this uh, face selected, uh, let's go over here under Edit Geometry Group. Let's click the set Tessellate box settings. Okay, and it's gonna add additional segments that meets at the center of this uh, face and we have to uh, uh, make these edges meet the other end point here okay go over here and choose polygon and check right and now press number one to enter into a vertex mode so that I can select this vertex at the center and pull this out okay and uh, once you are finished uh, editing in here just add another edit poly mod modifier above here and uh, instead of uh, editing instead instead of turning this into a pointed shape and edit in this layer just apply another layer in here and start to uh, and use this layer to edit 
and give this a point pointed shape so that uh, if ever uh, something happens in your edit and it turns out that um, it uh, it doesn't work your edit doesn't work right you just have to uh, delete this edit uh, edit poly modifier okay and it won't affect your previous edit in here okay so uh, after let's assume that uh, for example this is already finished and after that uh, I'm going to apply a turbo modifier and uh, let's give it a uh, iteration of two and it will uh, it will give us a much smoother surf sm much smoother surface okay and that's it and okay you select and press effort and check if everything is uh, looks okay to you and if it's not uh, just select the object press F4 and go back to editing in here click that editing okay and uh, you might see this result uh, even if you uh, highlight this edit poly modifier so uh, uh, if this happens to you just turn off this show and result okay so that you can see the actual look of this edit poly layer okay so uh, this uh, button will just show the end result which is the latest modifiers that we uh, were that we are already applied at the top of these uh, other modifiers below okay so that's it and i'm going to show you the finish uh edit of this one so press f uh, press f4 and i'm gonna pull this object over here and open this icing okay and this should be your final uh edit of course so that's it and now in the next video in part four uh, part four we are going to add a uh, cherry fruit above this uh, icing okay so that's it and see you in the next video